What's up everybody, Zach here with Soya Quilting. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome dark quilt. Let's get started. Project, you're going to need a jelly roll and some background fabric. There's gonna be a lot of cuts involved in this one, but don't worry, everything is in the pattern, which is free in the description below. Make sure to check that out. What you're gonna do for this project is take each strip in your jelly roll and cut it down to a three and a half inch piece, a six and a half inch piece, and a 30 and a half inch piece. Do that for every strip in the jelly roll. Once you have that done, time to get out your background fabric. And you're gonna cut it down to two and a half inches, just like your jelly roll. And then you're going to need some four and a half inch pieces, some six and a half inch pieces, and then a couple two and a half by two and a half squares. And again, the count and the measurements for all this are in the pattern below. Once you have these all cut out, it's time to assemble your row. I'm gonna take my long piece, my 30 and a half inch strip, lay it down. Then I've got my six and a half inch background, my six and a half inch main fabric, my four and a half inch background and my three and a half inch main fabric. Lay it out just like that. This part is gonna be the same on every single row. And every strip in this quilt is gonna be exactly the same. The only difference is right here. You have your two and a half inch square, your four and a half inch strip, and your six and a half inch strip, all of your background fabric. That is what's going to make your rows kind of wave back and forth as it goes down the quilt. Go ahead and sew all the pieces in your strip together. There you have it, pretty simple so far. So next I'm gonna just go ahead and press out all my seams and then move on to the next step. At this point you can take every single strip in your jelly roll, cut it down and sew it just like this. And go ahead, press them, get them all ready. This next step is going to put that wave in the quilt. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be working with the, on camera I guess the left side, or on the overhead, the left side of the quilt where this four and a half inch piece was. I'm gonna take my background fabric, I'm gonna start off with my six and a half inch piece, lay it down and sew it right onto the edge of my small main print. Once you have each of your rows sewn together, the next step is to make a little bit of sashing. Right here I've got my sashing. It is an inch and a half wide by 55 and a half inches long and I just pieced it together. And all you're gonna do is lay it down right sides together with your first strip. There we go. Next, I'm gonna clip these pieces together and then sew it down. I got that sewn on and I just went ahead and pressed it open. At this point, you're going to take your next row, which will be exactly the same thing you just did, just with that four and a half inch piece on the end. You're gonna lay that down, right sides together with your sashing and sew that on. And then from there, you just repeat row, sashing, row, sashing, row, sashing until your quilt's done. Next step on this is to make your borders. And they're gonna be two and a half inches, just like all the rest of the strips in the quilt. You're going to need two pieces cut to 59 and a half inches. That's gonna be for your top and bottom. And then your side pieces are gonna be 74 and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this all up and get it sewn on. There you have it. My quilt top is finished and it is looking awesome. I'm gonna take this over to our in-house long armor and have it quilted. If you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel and sharing these videos with your friends. It means the world and it's super easy to do. If you like the pattern, it is free down in the description below. Please check that out. That's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Zach, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you next time here at Soya Quilting.